What up, guys? Welcome to Base Damage, and this week I'm actually finally bringing back a deck profile. I uh, wanted to work with AOT, do some more core stuff, and figured, you know what, let's have a girl power themed deck, and this is the deck. So, like, mostly like Krista, Mikasa, and uh, Sasha. Mostly, but there are some other guest appearances. So, first off, for level zeros, we got two copies of this Krista that is a on play. You can pay one stock, do yourself a damage from the top of the deck, and grab back a level 1 or lower character from the waiting room to hand. We got three copies of this Sasha that is a 500 assist to the characters in front of her, and a climax combo with this red stock soul. Uh, four copies of this. And when the climax gets played, you can choose one of your characters. That character gets the ability that on reverse of the battle opponent, you can look at up to four cards from the top of your deck, uh, add one core character amongst them to your hand, and the rest of the cards go to your waiting room. So it's actually kind of a useful climax combo to be able to do at any level. So next is three copies of this uh, level reverser, uh, level zero reverser Sasha. Also, when her battle opponent becomes reversed, you can, if your stock is three or less, you can send that character that she reversed to the top of the opponent's deck. And it does, like, work with itself. If uh, they crash a zero into her and you have the stock requirements, she reverses it with the zero reverser effect and you can send that character to the top of your opponent's deck. Um, downside to that is if your opponent plays it right, they can use that to make certain that they have clean stock. So, you gotta be careful for that. Uh, four copies of this uh, zero zero Annie. Uh, if the number of cards in your stock is two or less, she gets plus 1,500 power. But more often than not, even it, yeah, it, outside of being a 4K beat stick, which is still really cool early game, uh, more often than not, you're going to try to clock her to get yellow and be able to do some stuff at, as soon as you get to level one. Next is two copies of this Mikasa. If one of your characters moves during the attack phase, uh, you can give that character plus 500 power and the ability that the battle opponent facing them cannot side attack, so they have to front. Uh, and then, she's a Brainstormer. Uh, pay one, tap her. Uh, mill four for every climax. You can salvage back a character from the waiting room. I uh, got another Brainstormer, but it's a spammable one instead. This also has an ability, uh, when, the, when one of your characters moves during the attack phase to another position of your stage, uh, you can give that character plus a thousand power. It's really nice. And a pay one stock, mill four, for every climax, you can salvage back a character, and then you have to discard one card afterwards. But it's spammable, so that is perfectly fine. Lastly, which I am trying to get a third copy of this to probably replace one of these Sashas with, but, you know, testing around stuff. Uh, two copies of this mill runner Mikasa, and that's it for the zeros. So, uh, to clarify, the mill runner is uh, beginning of your opponent's attack phase, send the top card of your deck to the waiting room, and if it's a core character, you can move her to another open position of your center stage. And there's two other cards that share this ability, so I'm just stating it now. So, that's it for the zeros. Level ones. You saw one of them earlier, which we're going to show now, which is four copies of this uh, level one Krista, or Historia, depending on which part of the anime you've seen. And I've done Lost the Day on Climax. Oh, here we go. <laughs> So first off, if the number of other core characters you have is two or more, she gets a thousand power. And then when her battle opponent becomes reversed, if you have the climax in play, you can blind stock one, and then you can grab back a omnidirectional mobility gear from the waiting room back to your hand. And it can be either one of these. And uh, because it grabs back an event, it does not trigger anti salvage. So, which is really useful there for <laughs> saying screw you, Kanta. And next is, oh, hell, we just talked about it, so, uh, the two different omnidirectional mobility gear. It's the same name, it's just different versions of the card, so you can still only run four copies total in any number combination of these. So, uh, this one is from the first set. It is a, on play, you can search your deck for a core character, add it to your hand, then discard one card, and then move a character you control to an open position of your stage. doesn't matter front row, back row. And this one is from the new set, Volume 2, and it is a pay one stock when you use it. Uh, choose one of your characters in battle, return that to your hand, then, you can, then add back, you can add back up to one character from your waiting room to hand 
and then you discard one card. So it doesn't matter what the card is at that point. So really good there. So she climax combos to get these back to your hand to reuse them. Uh, next is this Sasha. She's a 1 1 5 5. But if the number of your core characters is two or more, she gets plus 2,000 power. So she can be a 7 5. Include that Sasha that's the assist, five, uh, assist in front, and you know she's like an 8K. So it's really nice. She is also a core mail runner. So just like the Mikasa. Uh, lastly is this Krista, who is a level 1 reverser, as well as also a mill runner, just like the Mikasa. So core mill runner. And that's it for the ones. <clears throat> Figured I'd make this one a little bit shorter. Most of mine are long-winded. Uh, for the level twos, I only got like four level twos total. Uh, this Krista, which is a two-one, uh, she is a global thousand assist to all your other core characters, and then you can tap her to give one of your core characters plus fifteen hundred power, which is useful for trying to pull off like the Krista combo and whatnot. Make certain that you can get those reverses and whatnot, or even if you do the Sasha one, make certain that you get the reverses. And the biggest pussy in all of Attack on Titan, this Aaron event, uh, Titan's power, uh, because uh, he's one gigantic pussy. Anyway, um, it's a 4K to a character in battle, and that character, or to a character you control, and that character gets the ability until end of turn when the battle opponent becomes reversed, you can send that character to your opponent's memory. So, really good removal, and one of the big cards that uh, is really useful against the Switch combo, or uh, Reese Sanders in general. But either way. Then level three, we only got six level threes. This Krista is a 3 2 10k on play, two effects on play. On play, top check, reveal the top card of your deck, and if it's a level zero or lower character, you can send that character to your stock. And then on play, you can discard one card to heal the top card of your clock to your stock. So you can basically potentially heal one and you know get back all the stock that you used to pay her to begin with. Then you have this 3-2 Sasha, Potato, and she has an early play ability. If your opponent has a level 3 or higher character, she gets minus 1 level in hand. And on play, you have to mill the top card of your deck. Whatever the level of that card you milled is, pick one of your opponent's characters that has that level or less, send it to their waiting room. And when she attacks, if the number of core characters you have is 2 or more, uh, she gets plus one soul until end of turn. So she can try to push for a little bit extra damage in case you don't have climaxes or whatever. And lastly is this Mikasa. She has a climax combo, but I don't use it. It's with a red stock soul, I believe, for burn, for burn on reverse, but I don't run that, so it's whatever. Uh, and then the... I might test it out later, I don't know. The effects I use, though, is on play, you can draw one card, she gets 2k power until end of turn. And on reverse of the battle opponent, your turn or your opponent's turn, pay two stock and bur attempt to burn your opponent for one. And that's it for the threes. So, like I said, I may end up testing out the uh, Mikasa event, the Mikasa climax combo later, but it's not particularly necessary. So, I have four copies of the red stock sold to everybody, run, and four copies of the 1k1 salvage trigger, my real name. And that's it for the deck. Uh, thank y'all very much for checking it out. I realized this was a really quick deck profile, but at the same time, it just I, I didn't feel this one needed to be long-winded. Uh, I have tested this out quite a bit, but I'm still wanting to try other combos and mess with stuff. So that's constantly the uh, card game player life. Thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all on the flip side. Peace out for now.